know about your language part. I think you all are here for your language part. See, basically, why do you need the language? Language ki aapko zarurat kyun padti hai? Let it be any field of the life. You need the language. Suppose if you are appearing for the interview and uh, you are not good in communication, so in that case, what will happen? You will lose your chance, and the person who is average to you is not he is not as good as you are, he will get a chance purely on the base of that communication. So it's very important part of the life and we need to improve our, our communication skills. We can take many examples like in your family, you don't find yourself comfortable whenever there is a discussion. Whenever any discussion is there, you always find that you are losing the chance. Everybody is winning and you always lose. Same way suppose if you are traveling somewhere, you are not good in communication or you are not aware about the language part, then you may be hesitating to ask many things. If you are very much aware about that communication or if you are very much aware about that language, you can very well expose yourself, you can collect, you can accumulate so many informations. But due to the unawareness of the language, you will not be able to communicate properly with the people and in turn, you will not be getting the right information as you could have. So, communication becomes an essential part of the life of individual. Nowadays, since the whole world has come on one platform, a piece has been centered. It's a very small world nowadays. Whole world is now very small world. A uh, very good distance of a very huge distance also is at the distance of one call. You can communicate with anybody all over the world within a friction of seconds. It has been possible due to communication only. So communication nowadays has become an essential a very essential part of our life and we have to improve. And I think for the same purpose you are here. Realizing the importance of communication, realizing the importance of language, realizing the importance of English language, I think you all are here. And uh, we will be looking or we will be seeing many parts of language or many parts of the communication. Starting with the communication. Basically, the communication is of two types. One is called verbal communication and another is called the non-verbal communication. What is verbal communication? Verbal communication is the communication which is expressed through the words. And non-verbal communication, this non-verbal communication is the communication which can be expressed without speaking anything. It means without speaking any word. If you can express your feelings, if you can express your ideas, that becomes your non-verbal communication. Guys, you will be stunned to know, you will be surprised to know that verbal communication can be expressed through the speed of 100 words to 150 words per minute. Okay, And the non-verbal communication can be expressed with the speed of 800 words to 900 words per minute. So you can realize it means how faster is the speed of this non-verbal communication. You will be surprised to know that without this non-verbal communication, your whole communication will be 50% only. So if you want to express your views properly, you must be very much perfect in both the communications, both the ways, that is your verbal communication as well as non-verbal communication. So here we are going to see many other parts also of communication and the first part here we are not going to discuss about your verbal communication, only the non-verbal communication we are going to discuss the first part. This non-verbal communication is called body language also. The second name of this non-verbal communication is body language also. So here we are going to see what is body language and how does it play in, how does it play or what is the role of this body language in communication. One by one, so many points we have written over here. You, have, you also might have noted down these points already. And one by one, we'll see 
here how those points or how these points play a role in communication. The first point of body language is your proper eye contact. See proper eye contact. Here I have drawn one picture. One triangle I have drawn. And is within the triangle I have drawn one circle also. Whenever you talk to anybody or whenever you are involved in communication with anybody, that time you can make one imaginary triangle. Again, I'm repeating, you can form or you can make an imaginary triangle on the face of the person. You just assume that you are drawing a triangle on the face of a person. This is the triangle on the face of the person. This point is the forehead point and this point is the chin point. Now how to make this case? 